Other top story tonight, saving children any way possible. St. Louis educators are teaming up to take on an urgent danger facing children. And they want to stop the gun violence any way possible. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins joins us live from downtown St. Louis with more on how the group is taking a stand to stop child killings. Kelly. Well, Mandy and Vic, late this afternoon, dozens of educators here in the city of St. Louis gathered here at the St. Louis Public School District headquarters to launch a new initiative called Educators for Gun Safety. Now, this is a long-term effort to prevent gun violence and deaths. The St. Louis Public School District and several charter schools are standing together against gun violence and child killings. Thursday, the group launched Educators for Gun Safety. Talk about gun safety. And so the initiative, quite frankly, is to create a set of videos that could be used in schools to help kids understand why it's important that they need to be careful around guns uh, and to use gun locks. Parents and students will learn how to safely handle weapons, and the group will also give out hundreds of gun locks. We, too, have been impacted by uh, the unfortunate and unintentional deaths of children in the St. Louis city. So for us to come together and say, what can we do as educators uh, to help educate families, starting with children, but our parents and, and grandparents and, and guardians as well, we wanted to join that effort. This year, at least seven children under the age of 18 have been shot and killed in St. Louis and dozens more have been wounded. Authorities say many of the shootings were accidental and preventable. Students, um, uh, take for granted that guns are like toys and we just want them to be cognizant of the fact that guns are very dangerous and if, if handled properly they're okay but the gun locks will prevent a kid from possibly losing their lives. Among the victims 12 year old LaFrance Johnson. Investigators say Johnson was accidentally shot and killed by his 10 year old brother last month. Police say a family member left her loaded AR shotgun on the bed in the room where the children were left alone to play. Johnson's grandmother is on a mission to make sure this never happens again. We've lost too many kids back to back. So that's just in a message in itself. Oh, I have a gun. Let me make sure I put it up. Oh, they're giving away free locks. So let me go get one. There'll be many kids who are not sitting at graduation. Many kids not at end of year ceremonies. Parents will be coming um, to pick up diplomas. Uh, caps and gowns won't be worn by some kids. They won't be moving to the next grade because they've lost their lives. Now, school officials say that as, as students prepare to head into the summer break, uh, they're going to make sure that they continue to provide that information and tools that kids need in order to stay safe. Reporting live from downtown St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.